Hey guys, this is me Tahir and welcome to this new episode. Let's get directly to the topic. DJI's Osmo Action. Is it really worth it to purchase in 2021? Let's find out. But first, intro. It's been a while Osmo Action has been released. In past few weeks, I have used this extensively and thought it's time to do a full review. First, let's talk about the specs of DJI's Osmo Action. The weight mentioned on DJI's website is 124 grams. I did my personal test to confirm and it's about right, 124, 25 grams. It has 12 megapixel CMOS sensor. With the lens, you will get the field of view of around 145 degrees with an aperture of f2.8. For both photo and videos, the ISO range is from 100 to 3200. In photography mode, there are different options available such as single, countdown, time burst modes. In video, you can record up to 4K in 24, 25, 30, 48, 50 and 60 frames per second. It can also record in 2.7K, 1080p and 720p. In 1080p, you can record up to 240 frames per second. Osmo Action has inbuilt slow motion option available. Under this option, you can record in 1080p or 780p, both offering 120 and 240 frames per second. I recently did a video on slow motion mode for Osmo Action. If you haven't seen it, do check it out. I have shared the ungraded sample footage. The link is up here in the corner and I'll leave the link down below in the description box as well. Okay, it has HDR mode as well, which is capable of recording in 4K, but only in 24, 25 and 30 frames per second. And same for 2.7K and 1080p. Osmo Action also have time-lapse mode available. In this mode, you can record in 4K, 2.7K and 1080p. If you haven't seen my time-lapse video, here's the link in the corner and the link is also available down in the description box. Do check it out. I have shared the sample footage in the video. The maximum bitrate it can record is 100 megabits per second, which is quite good for a device like this. To provide better stabilization, Osmo Action have Rocksteady mode available, which we will talk further later in this video. Now it's time to talk about the performance of Osmo Action. <laughs> to test out different modes of Osmo Action apart from the time lapse and slow motion, first I mounted the Osmo Action on a chest strap and went out in the field. Firstly, I tested out the HDR option. This option does not have rock steady mode available. So you have to be really careful while shooting in HDR mode. If you are looking for a stabilized video, as you can see in this footage, it doesn't look good. If you are planning to use this on a chest strap and planning to use HDR mode, it's not gonna look good. The quality of HDR mode is pretty good and the colors are pretty accurate and it records in 4K as well, which is really nice option but the stabilization is an issue for me. After this, I switched to the regular video mode in 4K and turned on the rock steady mode. DJI has done pretty great job creating a software which can electronically stabilize the footage. It is pretty smooth considering I was walking and I walked pretty fast as you can see in this footage thanks to these long legs. The battery performance is decent. During the testing, I used Osmo Action on chest strap for about hour, hour and a half. Then I went out, recorded my three time lapses for about again hour, hour and a half. And in the end, I still had 33% battery left. Okay, as I said it in my previous video where I covered the slow motion option or mode of DJI Osmo Action that I will do 4K 60 FPS B-roll. So I went out the other day and shot amateurish B-roll for you guys in 4K 60 FPS. The footage is ungraded, no ND filters are used, the footage has been slowed down from 60 FPS to 30 FPS. I'm recording this whole video on 4K 30 FPS timeline. So it's time for B-roll, enjoy. So that was the b-roll i hope you guys like it again for this b-roll i mounted my osmo action on a gorilla pod in my opinion the 4k 60 fps footage looks really good as compared to the footage using the slow-mo option 
it's sharp and the colors are accurate and the footage looks beautiful now let's quickly talk about the photo quality from osmo action i have taken couple of sample shots from this it's time to switch to lightroom i'll show you guys now here are the few shots i took with osmo action on auto settings while i was shooting my b-roll let's check out this first shot in my opinion osmo action did a good job in exposing this whole shot the color looks pretty good but if you zoom in you'll see it's not that tack sharp most probably because it has 12 megapixel sensor in it let's check out the second shot i tried to take like a close-up shot again the whole picture is very well exposed the color looks beautiful but the quality the sharpness for me if i zoom in it's missing again in this as well let's go for the third shot osmo action did a good job again in the colors the blues looks beautiful the greens are there the scene is very well exposed yes there is a little bit of distortion because it's an action camera of course few moments later i took another shot with this same angle again just to check out the auto white balance and the colors for me osmo action did a good job in the color again the blues are there greens the scene is very well lit but the photo quality again it's missing it's not that sharp or clear enough let's say you're out on a trip and you don't have your dslr or mirrorless camera and you have your osmo action you'll be able to get like a decent and okay shots with it i'll suggest give it a try with your mobile phone as well nowadays the cameras in mobile phone are pretty good and you might be able to pull off some sharper or better quality images as compared to dji's osmo action so yeah that's it from here let's go back one more thing to add if you have gopro accessories such as chest strap head mount you can use those with osmo action they both share the same mount i'm using it currently and it works perfectly fine so final thoughts is it worth it to get dji osmo action in 2021 i'll say yes considering the price point and its other competitors such as gopro and insta r1 osmo action still delivers great results we can get the idea from the fact that this was released in 2019 and DJI still haven't released its newer version. This tiny little thing still holds up after a year and a half or one year, almost two years I'll say. DJI have recently, like late last year in 2020, released its software update, which improves the color signs and gives you a better result. I would say go for it and buy it in 2021 and you won't regret it. Unless something remarkable comes later this year, then it's a totally different thing altogether. So that's it from my side. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this was informative for you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This will help me a lot and I really appreciate it. This is me Tahir signing out. Until next time, see ya.